Hey guys. Well, I'm going to get a little something done on the 53. Uh, get to use this little tripod right here under the truck. Right now I got to take this guy off. Put it on the other big tripod. I'll show you guys what I got. What I got for the truck in that box. Okay, so a little while back we did a cold start on the 53 and I had done a little research and also my uh, fuel pump guy, Mike over at Then and Now Automotive, he turned me on to, uh, that's fuel pump for the 55, he turned me on to this uh, Airtex pump right here. And uh, I was going to try to get the number for you guys right there. That's the number. So anyways, this, this uh, fuel pump here will allow me to put this in front of the mechanical pump and be able to uh, pump fuel through the mechanical pump with this up to the fuel filter and the carburetor bowl. And I'm hoping that this will make cold starts much better. I fill up the bowl, give her some pumps, and have gas up there to the carburetor a lot quicker uh, than what we have by cranking on the truck now and pushing down on the gas pedal. So I got this guy. I'm going to have to cut the steel line, and this will be installed, uh, like I said, after a filter and before the uh, mechanical pump I'll show you some of the other stuff that I got here I want you to use at least a 14 gauge wire so I just I was kind of getting low on some wire so I went on up and got uh, a couple different rolls of wire I got a momentary switch here that'll be in the dash so I'll only have power going to the pump when I have the button pushed so because I sh and then oh I, m I should add that once the uh, fuel goes through the mechanical pump, the mechanical pump is also able to pull fuel through this when this is not powered up. So that's why this sh should work. And then I got some shrink wrap for the wires. And I have a 10 amp fuse that'll go in there too. I'll probably just hook this up and then just run uh, hot wire and ground this right down to it by it so i can see if it's going to work before i go through all the uh wiring into the truck and then also got a couple of little uh little connectors here for the battery so all right and this pump was about 47 dollars shipped and it's got a little bracket they want you to have this i'll go over it a little more but the outlet side they want you to have it uh, turned upward towards the mechanical pump. And I'm looking for an arrow for the, oh yeah, right there, out on this side. That's the outside there. Okay, I'm going to have to get underneath the truck, move some stuff out of my way. I'll bring you guys back in a little bit here. guys let's see what we got to uh, work with under here I haven't had the truck started for now it's going on a month already again I think so it'd be a good time to work on it. I was gonna try to get it out of here but then you know I just thought if I could clear out some room here I've done I've cleared out a bunch already I, I got the room I think I need now here I just all I was gonna do was uh, I got all that all that stuff was in the way here but once I cleared it out now I can jack I'm gonna jack the truck up a little bit with the jacks we can work and I got a nice little work area under here and I'm gonna go underneath the truck and then uh, show you the setup that's on there now 
All right, so I got the e-brake set on the truck, which this e-brake works amazing on this truck. I just love it. So I'm just going to, uh, I tried to not block the camera. I'm just gonna slide the jack under the straight axle here so I can get a little room under the truck. There we go. Hooked up nice right there. So I'm gonna jack it up a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and run a couple jack stands underneath here just for that safety safety precaution here. I just run these up here right there. I should be able to drop it down. That's a good purchase. Oh, get to check out some of the new front end stuff that I put in. There's a drag link up there. Yeah, front end seems to be doing pretty good. So let me drop this down onto the jack stand now. I'll get in here one hand and turn this thing. You know, I'm gonna have to set you down to do that. Actually, no better time than now to break out the little tripod here. We're gonna be using it under the truck, so there we go. And I will uh, let the truck down now. And we'll see how she levels out. Oh yeah, I think that, that'll be just fine. So now we got that on there. All right, both sides secure. Always give the truck a little rock. She's solid, solid as a rock. All right. All right, guys, we're under the truck. So it comes out of the uh, tank right there. And I am going to drain the gas here for this project. And then there's my uh, first filter. I have two, one up by the carburetor. And then this line, the fatter one up here, we're going to find a spot. Here it is again. We're going to find a spot to go ahead and splice the fuel pump in and the battery is right here. So that should be kind of handy. So uh, yeah, let me get this uh, gas out of the tank and I'll bring you back. Okay, well, I don't know if this is going to film this or not. I took the electrical power out of here, obviously, because I have gas and I don't think I want to use a Bic lighter for light so we're just gonna see what happens when I move this. I should have probably tried to free this pet cock up before I got under here but it looks to me like she's gonna go ahead and drain. I'd like to be able to take this funnel away here and just let her go into the bucket and I think that's what I'll try to do here there we go right into the bucket there so I hope you guys can see that and we're just gonna let that fill that can up there wasn't that much gas in the truck to start with so get you guys up there a little closer maybe you can see that there we go all right into my bucket all right, hopefully that footage turns out okay. All right, we're back under the truck here. Now, this might actually end up working out real good. Um, this is where the fuel line coming out of the first filter was going into this line. And so... I've got this extra piece of line here that's a little longer so I can bring this piece into that filter and then bring this along the frame so I only have to cut this hard line one time somewhere up in here and what else works out pretty good is that this hard line this big line was up underneath in there and the brake line was there check this out pull these two away go in here and flip this thing around 
like that. I'm trying to focus, guys. There we go. Flip it around. Put the little one up top, and the brake line will click right into there. And then the fuel line eventually will go back there. And that's nice. I like it a lot. And the fuel filter then should be able to lay right there at a little bit of an angle like we like it going up. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, let me work on this a little bit. I'll be back. Sorry about the shadow here. I'm trying to keep the electrical light kind of far away here. I guess I could have had my camera light on. Okay, guys, so luckily for us, this little clip right here that was holding up the brake line and the fuel line, it's a cool little clip. You just squeeze it and you can pull it out of the hole. So what I'm going to do, because this was too close to that brace there, up and under there, can't get behind there. So what I'm going to do is move this down here a ways. That'll allow me to bring this fuel line at an angle down here. I might even be able to use one of these holes for the bracket for the, the electric fuel pump. Okay, I'll bring you guys back in a little bit here. All right, so we've uh, moved the... Uh, we're going to move this clip over from here to right here. There we go. I'll step it up now to the next size up. Okay, so here I'm getting ready to prepare the fittings at the end of the pump, and I'm going to use a uh, fuel type of a resistant uh, paste here that we use in the the oil business. So I'm going to just coat these threads like so. Hope you can see that. A little of this, Let's keep it away from that end. Thread this guy in there like this, so we get a nice good seal there. Put a wrench on here, put a wrench on there. I'm not gonna go real super tight on it.
All right, guys. Well, we're going to end uh, part one right there. I'm going to replace uh, new hose uh, from coming out of here. And then uh, a, another piece of hose from the filter over to here. That's a one size smaller uh, than than what uh, I already had that was new just a little bit loose so we're all good up here so I'm going to go ahead and uh, post uh, one and two videos at the same time so you guys uh, can go uh, right from this video which will be part one to the next one so yeah appreciate you guys uh, watching and we'll catch you on part two